Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to continue to explore the gameplay of The Tenants. We are in patch 0.7c. Let's continue with our gameplay of The Tenants. We recently just got a new tenant in. Our new tenant is Ellie Callahan. We are researching Ellie Callahan right now. One of our tenants wanted to get into art, so we are going to renovate their bedroom to include more art items. But before we do that, we are going to send in Uncle Steve to begin cleaning. I do not know which tenant wants to get into art. I think that appears to be it, Uncle Steve, so you can exit so I can begin to renovate for our tenant who wants to be the new Da Vinci. There is a chair and a desk. So I'm thinking it's this room. They want tile floor and they want green walls. So let's look at the green walls. I'll give them this $40 green wall and that'll help me pick the floors. I'm going to do this Liberty Supra vintage tile. I'm gonna sell that rug. I'm gonna move this whole television into this room. I could put it right there. Okay, we got a $719 tax bill. So they're now telling you what the fees are up here at the corner near our amount of tenants. I'm gonna move this Wii in here too. They can watch things at the kitchen table now. This person wants a room divider. I am also going to sell their computer. Cool. I'm going to put it over here. They want a chair. I'm going to poof right there. I'm going to move this poster over here. Life in a boat. I'm going to move their desk over here. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to move this life in a boat to this person's room. This desk is not working out. We're going to rotate this around. Put that there. I need to move this in the hallway. I'll put that right there. These lights over their bed. We want an easel. We'll do the easel right here. They want a room divider. We'll do this little zen room divider. I'm gonna sell the desk. Omar Hopkins sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Omar. I'm selling this bed. They seem to be a single person, so they don't need a big bed. And this bed. I could uh, move this divider this way. So it divides the room in half. The research for Ellie Callahan is complete. She likes classic literature. Thanks. We'll do Miss Gorgeous in here. We'll put Miss Gorgeous over here. And we need a desk. We'll do this desk. That desk will be like for holding painting things and items. I could put the uh, life's advice books back on the desk. I could put the cactus plant back here. Ilsa Hopkins sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Ilsa. Can we deliver the job? Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. It looks like we got everything. Their room is mostly contemporary and other. It's pretty interesting. I really like these new features for patch 0.7c. So if I want to focus on, I want to make this place look like contemporary. Like this room in the back is mostly contemporary. This room here is contemporary and other. This room over here is a mix mixture of vintage and modern. This bathroom seems to be mostly modern and the kitchen is a hodgepodge of classic and other. Let's leave. Kathleen McMahon says, Ugh, can we revert it back how it used to be? No, I'm sorry, Kathleen. That's what you wanted. Ellie Callahan, who just moved into this new flat, has just discovered that her roommate is a pig. And she says, hey you, believe it or not, but I got a bunch of roaches roaming around the apartment. What the heck? I could really use some assistance, boss. These ones look quite nasty. I'll send my uncle in right away. Okay, Uncle Steve, why don't you come over here and spray some of your poisonous cloud around? Yeah, it doesn't help that the room you just moved in is trashed. If you didn't throw your pizza boxes on the floor, you probably wouldn't have roaches. Over here, Uncle Steve. Yeah, Uncle Steve's probably like, I'm fed up with these slobby tenants you have, Smitty. They're bad. Ellie says, thanks for helping me solve this problem. Okay, Uncle Steve, you can exit so you can come back in and clean the flat. Kathleen McMahon sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Kathleen. I'm going to send Uncle Steve out because that appears to be all of this... All of the mess there is. My tenants are making me manage them more, so I have to really, really look at them to see if they're up. Megan Archer, who says, sorry, got no money. I'm going to remind her politely because we're not going to be making any money to pay the bank loan. Sorry, I got no money. Oh, next time we ask her for the money, we're going to demand our payment. We have bank loans that we have to get down. We aren't going to get them down if we don't take a job. My thought is, let's take one job. We are going to be looking for the highest paying job. That appears to be this $10,600. $50 job. Miriam Donovan, Lost Creek Road 14C, looking for a designer to do a total makeover of our apartment so that it fits our needs. Requirement, total makeover, budget $12,150. They want us to focus on the walls and the tags. They don't mind the preferred furniture. Let's accept that job and head on over to Lost
Lost Creek Road 14C. Here we are at Lost Creek Road 14C. Let's begin cleaning. Uncle Steve is going to try to restore that couch. He's going to clean this puddle and he's going to try to restore whatever this is. All right, he was able to restore that couch. I'm going to have him add it to player storage. I don't even know what this thing is. That's a washing machine. Why don't you add that to player storage as well? This is a really interesting design. Looks like they got half walls in here. I don't know how they did half walls. So that or it's a defect. Looks like that's about it. Why don't you exit, Uncle Steve? Lewis Carlson has sent us money for the period. Thank you, Lewis. We have a common area, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen and a hallway. We do this is the bathroom. So let's build a wall here. We'll put a door in right there. We'll put a laminate floor in there right away so we know that that is the bathroom. I don't know what their tags are. Basic. They like basic. They want a basic laminate floor. So we're going to look for the word basic. Do this dune floor in the bathroom. Basic yellow walls. They want us to focus on the walls. We'll do this 45. Oh, it's vintage. It's contemporary. We'll do this sunny yellow wall in here. Let's just do this basic accordion. We have a bathroom. Megan Archer sent us the overdue money. Sorry for the delay. Thank you. I was going to have to get nasty with you. Do the bedroom back here. That is the bedroom. We'll do the kitchen here, and that'll be the common area. We're looking at the kitchen. We want a basic tile floor, and they want gray walls. I know I'm all over the place on this one. I'm having a little bit problem with these new design features. Let's just go back to the way I used to do it. We're going to focus on the bathroom. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this radiator out of the bathroom, this electrical box into the hallway. Agnes Gentry just sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Agnes. I'm going to do this $499 shower cabin. They just want basic. I'm going to give them this fancy sink. They want a mirror. We want to give them a basic mirror. They want this one. It's provided by the client, so that's going on their wall. Give them a pigeon toilet. They want a towel rack. I'm going to give them this $99 towel rack right there. They want a toilet brush. I'm going to give them this $45 toilet brush. They want a toilet paper. I'm going to give them this $49 toilet paper. This one was provided by the client, so we're going to give them this big, huge, honking wall lamp right there. That's huge. They want a wall clock. This one is provided by the client. Put that wall clock right there. We have 91% in the bathroom. We will go back to that. And kitchens tend to be pricey, so let us do the kitchen. I'm going to do this elbow white gray wall stripes. They want a tile floor. I could give them this contemporary floor. Sort of strange stripes and checks. You're not supposed to mix those things, but Declan McLean sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Declan. We should also give them a door. We're going to give them this basic door. They want a cooker. The client wants this. I'm going to put this cooker right over here. They want a fridge. I'm gonna see if there's any fridges that they specifically want. I'm giving them this ice fridge right here. They want a kitchen sink. I'm giving this basic sink over here. They want kitchen cabinets. I'm seeing if they want any specific kitchen cabinets. These are basic. So I'm gonna give them this basic cabinet. Hey, have you been talking to your tenants recently? I guess not. They, because they've literally trashed the entire place. Can you do something about this, boss man? Yeah, I'll send my uncle in right away. Oh, what a mess. Steve, could you clean up this mess? I wonder I can't get any of my renovating jobs done. These people are trashing the places. And they leave the refrigerator doors open. The building manager says, thanks for helping me solve this problem. Let's get back over to Lost Creek Road. The building manager says, hey, you got some noisy tenants here. Reprimand them or there'll be consequences. You're right, I'll talk to them. Laura McCulloch says, sorry, I'll be more quiet. I'm trying to get this gleam kitchen cabinet in here, but it just doesn't want to go up against the wall. I am having a problem putting these cabinets up against the wall. They are refusing to go up against the wall. They're only letting me put them on the walls they want me to put them on, which I don't find really fun. So here we go. We were able to fit all the kitchen cabinets in, and I moved the refrigerator over. We need a blender. We'll put the blender right there. Likes to be near the refrigerator, it seems. They want a wall lamp. I'm going to give them this modern wall lamp right there. They want a kitchen hood. I'm going to give them this basic simple kitchen hood and I'm going to give them another wall lamp over here. It appears we're done in the kitchen so let's move off to the bedroom. I don't know why I didn't put doors on all the rooms. Why didn't I put doors on all the rooms? Okay we got doors on all the rooms now. Ilsa Hopkins sent us money for the period. Thank you Ilsa. We want blue walls and we want carpet or linoleum in here. Gray carpet 
it in here. They want a bed. I think I'm in this coastal bed. Kathleen sent me the money for the period. Thank you. This is basic. We'll do this basic wardrobe right here. They want books. Ooh, they want these books. Sci-fi books. I'm going to give them this lamp. Um, I'm going to give them this shelf. Put that right under the window. I'm going to change the color. We'll do a blue one. Can we do blue on this? Do a different color variant? That's nice. I didn't know we could do that. Could we do a color variant on this? We can. Let's uh, do a more yellow. Lewis Carlson sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Lewis. I like this color variant option that they introduced in 0.7C. Dream big, right over the bed. Dream big. We need a rug in here. Do we have a rug? Anything provided by the client? This one is provided by the client. I'm going to put that right in front of their wardrobe um, color variant. We'll do blue. Yes, everything is blue in here. We have done everything in the bedroom. Let's head off to the hallway. Ellie Callahan says, my heater has stopped working and I'm literally starting to freeze here. Could you do something about it? Yes, I'll send in a pro. The hallway they want tile in. Thanks, I can walk through my apartment without a scarf. I give them this $40 floor. They want green walls. I'm going to give them uh, this cottage wall. I'll put this cottage wall in here too. They want a shoe stand. We'll put the shoe rack on this side. Megan Archer sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Megan. I'm going to put this coat rack right there. They want this specific doormat. Do they have a color variant? They do. We'll do, um, we'll do this color variant. Okay, do they have a color variant for this? They do. We'll do green. Can we do green on this? Bank has charged us a total of $8,499 to cover one of our bank loans. They want umbrella rack. We'll give them this umbrella rack near these shoes. Need a mirror. Do you have any basic mirrors? They want this one. This is cottage. We'll do the cottage mirror right there. Okay, we are done in the hallway. Going off to the common area. Agnes Gentry sent us money for the period. Thank you, Agnes. Let's do some big plants. We know how to do big plants. They want this one. So we'll put this one in this corner. Oh, it's a lemon tree. Laura McCulloch sent us the overdue money. Thank you, Lauren. I'll put this rubber plant over here. They want more plants. Put this one in here because that's what they want. I'll put it right there. Put the $90 one over here. They want these photos. They want oriental. Look, the oriental lamps over the radiator. And they want one more wall decor. They really want this scary owl. Okay, we'll put the scary owl right there. Ellie Callahan sent us the overdue money. Thank you, Ellie. Look at this coffee table. Put this small item on this table. What's this? Should be near furniture, a couch, or armchair. Yeah, I know, but we don't have that. What's this? Oh, this is provided by the client. So the coffee table was provided by the client. Declan McLean sent us money for the period. Thank you, Declan. I'm going to put this couch over here because it makes the coffee table happy. I'm going to change the color to green. Can I change the color to? We'll do this color. I need one more small decor item. Decorative boxes on the table. Well, I think we've met all of the requirements, so I'm going to uh, see what we can put in this room. Wall plants, of course. Wall plants, always. We have $494. Which room is the worst room? The hallway is pretty bad, but this is a bedroom. What's this? This is provided by the client, so we'll put this here. Man, this wall plant in here. 45%, that really didn't help. Uh, that, that plant there. I could probably put something on this table over here. 62%. This basic lamp over here. 64%. Let me go off to the hallway and see what we can do here in the hallway. Say corner a rug provided by the client. We could do that in there. I'm going to put this rug in here. i got a pack of rats in my flat. Any moment now, they're going to be start riding bikes in here. I'll send my uncle in right away. Okay, Uncle Steve, why don't you come over here and set some rat traps. These people need to stop throwing their garbage on the floor. This, this game needs to start putting in trash bins so the tenants won't be throwing trash on the floor. I blame the designers. They need to build trash bins trash disposals. Thanks for helping me solve this problem. Let's go back to Lost Creek Road. We're almost done with the renovation of this spacious flat. We have 64%, 91%, and 53%. Something in this bedroom. Let's do Ancient Bird right here. 74% for Ancient Bird. We're down to $76. We can do Twilight of the Pyramids in the hallway. That brings the hallway up to 60%. We're at 74% in the back bedroom. We only have $41 remaining. Do we have any plants? 
Because plants make everything better. Do this $35 plant. 80% in the bedroom. That's pretty good. We got $6. I'm going to deliver the job. Here is the person who hired us. And they're coming into the common area. And they are looking at those photos on a magnetic strip that they wanted. And they're like, what, 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 what is this here? They're looking at the, the rubber plant. And they love the rubber plant. They are going into the kitchen. And they are looking at the modern light. And they like the modern light. They're going into the bedroom to look at the overall design of the modern spacious flat. And they like it. They're waiting for the client review. And we unlock some new items. Our review for Lost Creek Road 14C, Miriam Donovan gave us four stars. No major complaints. It might not show at first glance, but Smitty actually knows how to renovate. Required furnishing, four stars. Cheap furnishings were used. Items could have been more fashionable. I find this odd because these are the items that the clients request, and yet they're taking our rating down. Required furnishings, four stars. Cheap furnishings were used. Items could have been more fashionable. Preferred furnishings. Five stars, no issues. Floors, five stars, no issues. Walls, five stars, no issues. Decor, five stars, no issues. Decor could have used some more work in the bedroom and the hallway. First impression, four stars. Cheap furnishings were used. Magnetic photo holder, which is something that the client requested. Tags, very low preferred tag items. The total payout for that job was $10,650. And we got a message. All good here, though I have some ideas for how you could improve this flat. Are you down to it? Yesterday I tried to catch a train and ran out of breath. In a matter of seconds. Would be cool to have some sports equipment in the bedroom. Sure, let's do it. Hashtag hype. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Cricket House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.